Hi guys and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Welcome. My name is Aiden. I'm so happy that you are here. This has been a long time coming. I have been going through all of my lip collection the past several months. I did my favorite liquid lipsticks. I did liquid lipsticks that I just like. I did bullet lipsticks I love parts one and two. I did bullet lipsticks that I just like. I did lip glosses and a like what I'm planning in those. And then I did lip treatments, lip masks, lip scrubs, those type of things. And I'm finally to my lip declutter. I have this Bath and Body Works bag here. It's, you know, one of the smaller ones, but everything in here I am decluttering. I'm gonna swatch some of them. If they are a lipstick and they don't look too bad, I will offer them to any friends that might want them. And then if they are liquid lipstick though, I'm probably going to be uh, just tossing them. There are some that definitely need to be tossed because they're just awful. Um, and then there's a couple that I might just keep and stick in my like for pretty, they're, they're pretty because they were limited edition. We're gonna start with one of those because um, I love the packaging on this and I got it specifically because of this. This is Dose of Colors and this was their Minnie Mouse collection. This is Ladies First. I'm gonna swatch a lot of these and it's a pretty color it just i didn't love the look of this color on my lips so it is one that is being decluttered most of the things that i'm decluttering is either because i don't like the color on me or i don't like the formula or in some cases it could be both or in the cases of the next things i want to talk about they've just gone bad really bad so these are the ColourPop prints uh collection so i have um Phoebus. This was the second Disney Princess collection that ColourPop did. There is Prince Naveen. There is Flynn, which I was so excited about. I really wanted Flynn. There was Prince Edward. There was Prince Charming. There was uh, Wonder Boy. And there was Prince Philip. So all of these have gone bad. They smell horrid when you open them. We'll, we'll open Flynn because Flynn was my they just smell, they smell like chemicals and like a little bit of halitosis. Like they still look pretty on, but I just can't stand the smell and I'm not going to be wearing them. I'm pretty sure all of these I got backups of. So, um, they're, they're nicely in the little sets that they came in, but these, oh, these are terrible. Yeah, I think I have the full princess collection. I'm going to check before I toss them in the trash. Um, but yeah. Definitely not. I mean, but look at Flynn. Flynn was a beautiful color. It looks almost like what I'm wearing today. And the one I'm wearing today, I did not declutter because it's so close to being in over, hopefully it'll be in the empties that you see next up. Um, so then I have this one from IBY Beauty. This is another one that's just gonna go. This is Berry Blast. Um, oh, this not only is dried out and left some crumbs on my leg, but it smells, it's rancid. It smells rancid. It's, it's awful. So the next one I have is from Rimmel. This is Cray Cray. This is the long finish or lasting finish extreme. Uh, this one is, it's just the color. It is not for me. It is a dark brown. I did try on every single lipstick in my collection, unless they smell bad, uh, to get to this point. Then I have Kent Von D. This was back when it was Kat Von D. This is old. Oh my goth, this is just really old. It's starting to smell. This one is definitely one I should toss. I'm tempted to keep it though because it is such the iconic original like packaging back in the day. It's pretty, but it's very sheer at the same time. So it's going. I have one from Too Faced. This is Razzle Dazzle Rose. Just not a fan of this color. It doesn't look good on me. Uh, so that one's going, didn't like the finish on the formula on this one. This is from Kaja. So cute. This is literally why I got it. This is in the shade 01 sweetheart and it does have the heart there. It's just, I don't love the color. The formula is very, very soft, uh, just mushy almost not a fan. NARS. This was part of the Man Ray collection. This is spellbound just way too light. You can barely see it at all. Um, would look better as like a eye topper, but this is a velvet matte lip pencil. Just doesn't show up at all. Estee Lauder. This is pure color envy and dynamic. This one's okay. 
just not really a color that I reach for or would wear on a regular basis. Then we have one from Jaffra. This is the lipstick in Nutmeg. I'm pretty sure this is Jaffra. Yes. Gosh, it didn't say. And just a little too peachy. It's also super old. Don't know how old it is. I have one from Lorac. This is the highly pigmented satin lipstick in Daydreamer. Hopefully, me, ooh, that one is really wiggled in that case a lot. Hopefully, you can see them well from where I'm holding it. Then I have one from Elizabeth Arden. This is in Pale Petal. I mean, this shade is obviously not a great shade for me. Not one that I would reach for. Then we have another one from Rimmel. This is in the shade Extra. My friend bought all of these, and I love her for it but uh, there are some of these colors that are just not for me i don't wear a lot of purple lipsticks so that one has to go i have real her this is sorry not sorry uh, the formula is just okay on this one i just don't love the color if it's too pale peachy it just doesn't look very good on my skin and then let's do one more from estee lauder this or no this is from clinique sorry this is bear pop and it's just so sheer it didn't really want to show up at all i guess we can do one more uh we'll do one of the kitty cat mattes or kitty cat pearl from color girl and katy perry uh this is just like that 90s shimmery pink or 60s pearlized pink just not a good look on me we have another that i am keeping in my like display category but not going to be in my active colors this is, oh my gosh, it's so wiggly in there. It's beautiful packaging. This is from the Nutcracker collection that they did for MAC. And this is the shade Saucy Little Darling. Love it, but just uh, not a good color on me. Not one I reach for. We have this one from Tarte. This is Cabana Boy. Little too uh, blue toned, cool toned, I guess. I will be smelling all of these before I pass them along if friends want them. Uh, then we have from Lancome, this is Wine Party, uh, just a little dark. And I really had to look at like finishes and what I already had in my collection that I liked. So that one is going. This Tarte one I'm sad about. This is the shade Pure. This is the Lippy Lingerie. I really like this formula. I just didn't love this color on me. So it is going. I have another one that I'm trying to pan because it's starting to it hasn't turned, but you can tell it's going to be turning soon. This one from NYX. This is the scent. I mean, the shade root, root beer. I don't like there's something funny about the scent of this. And it's been funny. It's root beer float. Sorry. Since I got it, um, I don't think I will be passing that one along. We have this one from Mac. This is pink Nouveau. And uh, some of these, especially the Mac ones, I probably, instead of giving them away, I'm going to take them back to MAC and exchange them for a, sh a lipstick that I like. We have from another one from Katy Perry and CoverGirl. This is another pearl. This is, did I say what the other one is? This is Ready to Pounce, and the pink one was pretty and pink. Yeah, they're all cat uh, puns. This one from Smashbox and Vlada. I mean, I love the packaging. So beautiful. Just not a big fan of this color on me. Plus these dry out. So it gets harder and harder to get them out. This is the shade Always On Petal Metal Lip Liquid Lipstick. So I guess it's Petal Metal. It's a beautiful uh, rose gold type of a shade. I hated this formula. Uh, this is from Complex Culture. This is the... Deal Closer uh, Tinted Lip Cream and Rusty Rose. The color is not the problem. It's the coverage. Okay, so that's one swatch. Like, it's... I can't get it to lay down right or to, like, have any opacity. Like, it's so weird. I would never... If I got one of those, bef again, I would just toss it immediately or you know maybe somebody else likes that and can make it work but that was what it did on my lips too it just was so hard to work with we have from smashbox be legendary in the shade fig just 
just not a fan of the color. Also, the formula, it's like one of those old school sticky kind of lipsticks that they just feel heavy on your lips. Hello Kitty Lip Gloss from Cover ColourPop. I am going to keep the packaging, but not use it. Um, it's just, it's same issue. It smells very chemically and just off. I don't, I don't like it, but the packaging is very darling. So I will be keeping it for that purpose. And if it seems dark, it, it wasn't cloudy when I sat down to film, but I filmed this video second. So it's a little bit more cloudy and we've been just overcast most of the week. Kylie Jenner. Oh, I made the mistake. I got a whole bunch of these free and I was like, okay, well I'll try one. And based on what I saw, I thought this would be okay. This is boss. Well, that doesn't, you can't even see it. Um, not a fan, not a shade for me. I don't remember anything about the formula though, to tell you the truth. Another one from Rimmel. This is the shade Sugar Sugar. These are so hard to open and I'm not really sure why they are so hard to open. That's what it looks like. It's just a very pale pink. We have one from Hard Candy. This one just had to go. This is Queen of Hearts. I did use this one quite a bit. I loved it because of the name, because of Alice in Wonderland. Um, but it's just, it's time to go. It doesn't look super great on my skin as it, it my lips as it is. And it's just, it needed to go. Uh, we have Lychee from Bite Beauty. This is one of their sticks. Uh, color just is a little pale for me. Not the best type of a shade. Let's see if I can read. This is the Matte Creme Lip Crayon. Clarins, I thought this would be nice. This is the uh, Velvet Lip Perfector and this is in the shade 01. And I got this from BoxyCharm. And I thought, okay, maybe it's just too brown. I don't like brown. I don't like 90s brown. I will never like 90s brown. You will never see me wearing like, a, for fun, a, a brown lipstick. So hmm, this tan one is, is going. We have this weird one from Lime Crime. This is the plushies in the shade pink drink. I don't, I don't understand this formula. It's just weird. And um, I don't love this color. Like this color is not, is not it, is not good at all. Mm, not good. I just realized I have another one from the uh, Prince. This is Beast. This was the other one. This and Flynn were like the two shades that I wore the most. So this one is going. I have two more lip glosses from Hello Kitty. Uh, so I have So Chilly, Icicle Pop, and Big Bow. I would not recommend uh, ColourPop liquid pro uh, lip products. This is the Lux Lip, Lux Liquid Lip, and I really like the formula, but it just goes bad so fast. And I don't like the lip gloss formula at all. Like these smell so terrible. Stick form is fine, but not, not these two. All right, next one's in the box. I did swatch this one once. This is Cinnamon Bun from Too Faced. I thought it was gonna be an okay color. I'll do a quick swatch. Uh, it's not, it's not one that um, I'll wear. Once again, with that brown, it looked much darker as I took it out and put it on um, than I thought it would. So uh, I might see if one friend would like that because I have a friend who um, doesn't get as grossed out about that type of stuff. So I might see if she wants it. Um, if it's something she would wear. Jason Wu, I was so disappointed. I really wanted to like this. This is the shade Honey Fluff. Uh, no, it's Honey Fluff is what the product is called. The shade is Adored. And I really wanted this. I didn't like any of the colors and I thought, okay, this looks like the closest color. Same issue that I've had with so many other things. Uh, I don't like the lip oil from Ulta Beauty. This is the shade watermelon or the flavor watermelon waves. Juicy gloss, just didn't like it. Uh, it's a big no. Then I have from Tristique. This is the mini lip glaze in Mumbai Magenta. It's so light. Uh, I don't want like, I don't need a slightly colored lip balm. That's just not what I need. Uh, this one, I didn't like the flavor of. This is the wild, it smells so good though. Um, this is the Sun Protection Ultra Beauty Broad Spectrum SPF 30 in Wild Watermelon. Yeah. Context Nude Balm in All or Nothing. Don't like this formula. 
don't like this shade. Like, it's fine. It Like, that's literally just a lip balm. Not worth it. I Mini from MAC. This is Relentlessly Red. I think I'm decoloring this because I have a full size of it as well. So I didn't need the mini. Kylie, uh, this is the Ulta Beauty Matte Shade. Uh, this, I don't like the formula. Look at, like, that goop on the... Ugh. Not a fan of this formula. Really hated this formula. This is from Black Moon, and this is the shade Warrior. Was not a fan of this formula. Was not a fan of this shade. Just glad to get some of these out. Alice and Urban Decay. This is Alice through the Looking Glass, not Alice in Wonderland. This is the shade Alice. It's just so pale. Can you even see that? Uh, just not a great shade. I know you can use it as a topper, but that's not who I am. We have from Estee Lauder, this is Pink Pucker. Again, just so light and not a great shade for me. Bite Beauty, this is the shade Rhubarb. Don't really like this shade. Um, the formula is okay. I'm trying to pan what I have left from Bite Beauty. Buxom, this is the full on lipstick in the shade. I think it's like Cabana. Havana, Havana, Cabana. Um, it's fine. It's just a little dark. It's not really a shade that I reach for. Lip glosses from Urban Decay. I just don't like this Hi-Fi Shine Ultra Cushion lip gloss. I have two shades. I don't think you're going to see any difference in them. This first one is Naked and the second one is SPL. And I'm sure SPL stands for something that I would have to look up in the Urban Dictionary. So there they are. They're kind of there. Uh, Bare Minerals Lipstick. Uh, this is the shade Speak Your Mind. This is one that uh, has that crayon type scent to it. So it's past its prime. We have this from Laura Geller. This is the Shine Stick Triple Benefit Lip Color in honey dipped and it's this weird thing it's similar to the maracuja but slightly different not a great shade though and more opaque so it doesn't isn't forgive as forgiving as the tart ones Too faced another one this is in the shade honey bunny i don't like this formula i don't like the shades that i had in this formula it's very mushy i don't like that in a formula either so uh we're getting close i only have a few more we are down to the end. So I have a couple lip glasses from MAC. I don't like the formula of the lip gloss. And yeah, that's part of it. So this first one is Itsy Bitsy. Then the other one I have is Raring to Go. I just, I don't like sticky lip glosses. Even like just putting it on my hand, I'm like, ugh, that's so sticky. Lorac Pro, this is the shade Autumn. This one is just past its prime, plus I don't really like the color. Uh, so it's got to go. We have one from Nude Sticks. This is the gel color lip and cheek balm. I don't like this formula. I like another formula from Nude Sticks and I will wear it, but I don't like this one. This one is sheer. I don't like this color either. This is in the shade Pulse. Then I have from Too Faced, this is Sugar Fairy. This came in a gift set and once again, don't like the formula. Don't like the color just awful. Um, and then the last one I have here is Scene Queen from Lime Crime. It's, I do like this formula. I like the metallic version of this formula, but, um, I thought that color would be great, but I just don't like the color. So it, it's going as well. Okay. I will have a total of how many lippies I decluttered down here below. And let me know if you think I decluttered any that you would have kept or if you think I should have decluttered. I'm sure people think I should have decluttered more. I'm not even going to ask that. Um, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below on what I decluttered. And I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Let me know how you are doing. And I can't wait to talk to you next time.